Hey teachers, you might have noticed that sometimes when you try to use grade transfer, um, you click the grab data button like so, and then nothing, literally nothing happens. And the reason that might occur is because either we pushed out an update with um, feature improvements and such, or Google pushed out an update or your computer had an update or something, but the end result is that nothing happens. If that is the case, simply click here and this will give you a confirmation saying, hey, we're going to restart things just to make sure everything works again. We will refresh the app and your page. And then when you try it, then it should work like it should. Um, now, if you get into the situation where you keep getting this, hey, you need to update, nothing's happening message. Um, one of the reasons that might happen is because your computer or your district or your browser configuration is set up in a way where it tries to be super efficient and load things from cache. Now, if you don't know what cache is, um, an easy way to explain it is sort of on your phone. If you have a phone and you open up something where there's always new content, like uh, a news flash or social media post, right? You, you open it up and you see some things there, and a couple of seconds later, new things load in. So your computer or your phone is being efficient and it's showing you whatever it has available. And then later it updates it with new content. So some districts set up um, the browsers in a way where they try to load things from cache all the time. And that might be the reason why you keep getting stuck on that refresh message. There is a way around it. One of the things that you can do is you can simply navigate to Chrome colon backslash backslash restart. That will restart your Chrome browser. And in that process, it also fixes some of the um, update and installation files that might be stuck in like, you know, the old version or in the new version. And another thing you can do is you can go to Chrome colon extensions, right? Ah, there we go. Chrome colon backslash backslash extensions. If you go here and you toggle the developer mode on over here, you'll get this extra bar with an update button. And if you click that button right there, it will update all of your extensions to the newest versions. And then you can go to um, each tab. And, and then at that point, if you click that um, the, the update button, whoops, this one right here, Ah, it's gone. Well, now it's working correctly for me. Um, if you click that, then it will make sure that everything is working fine on those pages. And as a last resort, if none of that works, or if maybe you keep seeing that little red badge on your icon that says, new, we have an update, and that doesn't go away, that should go away immediately as soon as you launch and refresh once. Um, what you can do is you can right-click the app and select Remove from Chrome. And then, well... I'm going to do it. There we go. Remove from Chrome. And thereafter, you can go to back to greattransfer.com and add it again. And this will be a brand new installation. You can just simply add it. And at that point, it really, really, really has no way of, of launching things from cache for you um, because it's, it's, it's a brand new installation. So you won't have that cache problem anymore. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any issues, feel free to reach out and... An easy way to reach us through the app itself is, oh, see, there's a refresh thing. Come on, buddy. Easy way to reach us is, is just with any of these little question mark icons that we have, usually in the lower right-hand corner. So if you click that in the app, either on the outside or once you're already logged in, you click the question mark icon and you can get to our support team. All right, have a good one, people. Enjoy.